Hey guys, it's Rob. I've just got this little Hobby King uh, quad. It's fitted with the NASA flight control unit. I don't have the GPS connected because uh, the NASA is only temporary on this quad. Um, it's also got the Sunny Sky 2212-13 motors and the DJI 10x3.8 props. So I just want to show you how it works. It's uh, about 1.3 kilos this quad. But uh, this is the motor and prop combination I want to use on my FPV build when I actually get around to doing it. I've got a uh, 4500 milliamp hour battery on it at the moment and that's good for almost 20 minutes of flying. Okay, just in manual mode at the moment. And you'll see right there, I've got, oh here we go, we've got a dog chasing the quad. <laughs> anyway, I'll just try to ignore him. Uh, right now I'm flying with about um, probably one third throttle position. Yeah, the dog better be able to run around for uh, <laughs> for 20 minutes. The other thing that's a bit unusual about this quad is I've got uh, the motors mounted upside down, which you can see. But let me just show you the punch that it's got on the count of three. One, two, three. So I think that's uh, that's enough just for a sport quad. I mean, it's not performing like one of the uh, standard Armitans with all the uh, with 1800 kV motors, but if you're just learning, it's actually not a bad combination. I'll just show you, this is uh, completely stock, this NASA. It's just, uh, I haven't changed any of the gain settings at all. And it responds reasonably well. Um, the other thing of note is that I'm mainly using the uh, Q-Brain ESC. It's a four-in-one ESC. It doesn't have any Simon K firmware, so uh, it's not as responsive as uh, Simon K ESC would be. But uh, it's still fairly reasonable. So as you can see, it's not bad, it's flying all right. Ah, so it's still got that same tendency that uh, my other NASA units have of uh, wanting to pitch up by itself when you're flying fast forward. I, um, I mounted the motors upside down just to see if that would actually change things, putting it giving it a much um, lower thrust line, a thrust line that was closer to the actual center of gravity, but it hasn't really changed it very much. It still wants to pitch up like it did then. Yeah, I don't know, it must be just something with the NASA. I probably do need to get in and adjust the settings a little bit to stop that. See that? That pitched up completely by itself. Okay, the dog's gone now. So what I'll do is I'll just land and I'll put it in uh, self-level mode, which they call atti attitude mode in this thing. Sorry, I'm just looking at the timer. Okay, it's now in uh, attitude mode. So the difference here, uh, it hasn't got GPS, so it's just started to drift away. The difference here is um, you don't have as much direct throttle control. Full throttle will, uh, will only climb about like that. And when you pull the throttle back, it'll just descend more steadily. Uh, it's got its own self-level, so it won't go past 
I think about 45 degrees. That's full stick. So I'm holding full right stick there and full left stick there. And that's that's full forward there. Hopefully you could see that. Okay, the other difference is when you put the throttle in the mid position. Uh, let's see, where is it? Just about there. It actually has altitude hold. So it should uh, use its own internal barometer to maintain height, which it does seem to be doing. Now, the NASA barometer apparently is very sensitive to light. So if I yaw this quadcopter 360 degrees, as the light hits the side, you'll probably see it goes down. Yeah, it did a little bit there. Actually, that wasn't too bad. I've had a much greater effect of that on my other quads using this NASA. Try again. not actually demonstrating what I'm trying to demonstrate there. It actually seems to be holding the height fairly well. But uh, yeah, if you read up on the NASA, they do uh, say that they're uh, sensitive to um, light. So you're better off putting a bit of uh, black tape on the sides of the control unit. Now that's a six minute timer, that's just what I had defaulted in the radio, but it's going to fly a lot longer than that. What else can I show you? Really not much else I can show you. It flies all right. The motors are nice and smooth. Plenty of power. And as I said, this will fly for 20 minutes, but uh, that's probably going to be a fairly boring video. So I'll just land and stop it there. Okay, thanks for watching.